All right, hey Liz, welcome back. How's everyone doing today? We're going to be doing fat patch 14.6 notes uh, rundown here with uh, Drew Burt. What's up, Drew? Hey, what's happening? <laughs> uh, looks like a pretty decent sized patch, but nothing super crazy, I think. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Here's the, the highlights, of course, if you're looking for them. And then uh, it looks like they are depreciating the um, DirectX 9 looking like for uh going into like this or next patch or sometimes the next sometime in the next few patches so uh if you're running on that still then probably upgrade your hardware or something <clears throat> but yeah um looks like range ranked adjustments um updating the lp system lowering the demotion lp starting point from 75 to 50 to help make those demotions more meaningful Okay, that's interesting. So I guess demotions is a little bit too forgiving, it says. All right, so I guess it'll be easier to demote now. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it's what it is, I guess. Um, updated bot AI. Oh, okay, so this patch is going to have the new uh, the bots. Let's go. That's awesome. I'm it's excited for that. Advanced. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, so new new bots have picked up few skills, jungling, taking objectives, and ganking. What? what okay. Okay. Our primary goal is that new AI will provide um, <clears throat> newer players with a space to learn and grow while providing experienced players with a lower stress mode to enjoy. <laughs> All right, cool. So it looks like they have some dev vlogs as well. You can definitely check out um, if you're looking for them. That's pretty cool. I might read through some of those if I have time. Uh, but yeah, let's start off. You want to start us off today? Yeah, sure. We got uh, Briar, who's back in the patch notes again. Hey. Um, <laughs> let's see what we're doing. Uh, oh, interesting. So Q, you Ooh. can now ward jump. Um, that's kind of That cool. means you can cross over uh, terrain then? With it? Yeah, I feel like... Uh, yeah, it says who wants to cosplay as Lee Sin. Yeah, so she can probably uh, wow. transverse terrain. That's pretty cool. That's pretty big, um, yeah. And then it looks like we just got some more adjustments. So her bonus attack speed is being reduced every rank. Um, not by much, but 5% of max rank there. Okay. Uh, the healing also on her W is going down. I mean, basically nothing at rank 1, but by max rank, again, it's down by, looks like, 5%. Yeah. Um, so healing down, and then R, certain death. Um, what are they changing here? They're reducing the overall base damage by about 50 at rank 2 and 100 at rank uh, 3. So um, will hurt less. Right. But I feel like the big change is the war jumping. That's cool. Yeah, that's definitely really big. I think the uh, the, the healing is probably a decent size hit as well because it's all based on yeah. damage dealt as well. So yep. Yep, yep, that's yep. a little bit harder to calculate, but I feel like that could meaningful so a little bit less healing for her overall that's probably a good thing um <clears throat> all right cho'gath let's go love love cho'gath changes especially if they're buffs which it looks like these are all right uh w cooldown for feral scream uh cooldown was 13 to 9 based on rank uh down by one second every level and now it is 11 to 9 so you get an extra two seconds off level one um some people max is second uh a lot of times i max it third but i think i've been leaning more towards second now um so um just if you aren't maxing it super early this is a nice buff uh, for sure yeah. and even if even if you are you're still getting a few seconds off early so it's pretty nice um e vorpal spikes the damage per spike um looks like everything in terms of the scaling is um unchanged or at least the ratios but the flat damage is going up uh starting level two by a little bit and then at final rank it's going to be up by a total of 12 and that's per spike as well so um i think you might get uh yeah i don't know but yeah it's, it's definitely a nice little old bump there it's nothing super crazy but i think it could definitely matter so awesome i like seeing chogath buffs honestly um even though he's he's relatively strong but i, I wouldn't say he's like overpowered or anything so i think it's fine yeah i agree i agree cool 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 uh, we got Diana here, so they're giving her a little bit more base attack speed, and her attack speed growth is down, so I have a feeling it'll kind of like okay. potentially even out over the long haul. But uh, yeah, let's see, they're also changing her passive, um, which is going to... Uh, it looks like this made the numbers a little bit clearer. It is. It does look like a bit of a nerf, so the bonus attack speed she gets... Um, is 
going down by just about 5% at the maximum. Um, it does say adding scaling past level 18 for alternate game mode. Um, yeah, but I think you'll it'll be a little... I mean, obviously late game it'll be slightly nerfed, but you also have the ratio that's going to be up quite a bit, so that's going to also yeah. matter. And I um, think... I think it might be better early because it used to scale. It used to like up every three levels, and now it yeah. just like ups every level. So That's I what feel I think like, too. Yeah, I feel like it'll, it, at max rank it'll be worse, but like throughout the course of the game. I think you'll you'll feel like it's a bit better. Yeah, um, I think that's fine. I don't think you need to be level eighteen and have like crazy yeah. anything super. And so. and you do get look, you get the bonus attack speed duration. Uh, it's yeah. up by two seconds. Pretty so, big. Pretty big. Yeah. No, that's nice. Uh, overall, yeah, it seems like it'll be a nice little buff. All right, and then the tooltip is bugged till next patch, but don't worry about that. Yeah, don't worry about that. It's <laughs> uh, all right, Galio. Okay, we got a bunch of changes here. Uh, <laughs> The passive Colossal Smash, magic damage, looks like the base is going down later, um, starts at the same, and then the AP scaling is going down by 10% as well. Uh, everything else is unchanged, but down by, like, what, 85 damage? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Um, late, so that's interesting. New hitting enemy champions or epic monsters with abilities reduces the cooldown by 3 seconds once per cast. Okay, so you can lower the cooldown by hitting abilities, that's pretty big. Um, and then Colossal Smash now triggers spell effects. Okay. Um, so maybe like uh, Ray Lies and such stuff like that as well. Um, and then uh, Galio now gains 40% um, attack speed while his passive is available. Okay. Nice little quality of life kind of improvement there as well. Make it a little bit quicker. And then uh, <clears throat> removed Colossal Smash is no longer affected by ability haste. So yeah, it, it can't be affected by ability haste now, but I think overall you're going to get it much quicker, um, and that's probably why they're nerfing the damage as well, because yeah. you're getting this reduction. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, Q Winds of War, magic damage. Um, so it looks like just the AP scaling is getting hit, hit by 5% less. Um, so less magic damage overall, that's probably fine. Cooldown. Um, is going from 12 to 8 based on level now it's 12 to 7 so later on you're getting a little bit less just by one nice. second so uh that's probably fine evens out a little bit for sure but um yeah that's definitely his main like damage dealing ability so it matters quite a bit and then the w shield of durand uh magic damage reduction the percentage flat is going down by five percent later on um in every rank, it looks like it's down. Ex yeah, it's down every rank by 5%. Okay. And then also, the uh, AP scaling is down by 1% per 100 AP. Um, and then the... Uh, let's see. Bonus magic res resistance scaling of it as well uh, is going down by 4% per 100 bonus magic resistance. And then plus 1% per per 100 bonus health is being added on, so you're actually getting a little bit extra magic protection, but depending on how much bonus health you have as well. Yeah, I didn't have health before, so... Yeah, um, okay. And then minimum magic damage on that is also the flat is getting uh, down by nothing level 1, 5 level 2, 10 level 3, 15 level 4, and 20 level 5. So um, the minimum magic damage there is going to hit a little bit, especially in the later ranks of it. But the AP scaling is unchanged, of course. And that's just minimum, obviously, so that it will also scale up. Um, so that might matter quite a bit, too, as well. And then uh, E, Justice Punch, magic damage. Um, <clears throat> the flat is getting hit uh, every level. It looks about 15. Um, pretty much every level there, and then AP scaling is unchanged. Reduced damage to non-champions was 50%, and now it's 20%, so now you're going to actually do more damage to uh, just everything else besides champions, like including minions and stuff, I think, so that's going to be helping out with your wave clear a little bit if you want to use it for that. And then you got a bug fix. Uh, Galio's passive now correctly executes minions when using the support item. Okay, cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's definitely nice. All right. Gragas. Uh, not nearly as many changes for Gragas. So <laughs> he is getting uh, less health off the bat, 30 less health, and then he is uh, seeing the mana cost on his Q just be 80 at all ranks. So okay. maybe... Um, I don't know if you max Q or not. I don't I 
pretty sure you do, but I'm not 100% sure. I guess it depends. Maybe, maybe. they're maybe they're trying to... It's a nerf if you max Q for sure, because now yeah. you don't get the mana reduction. Um, So maybe that was, you know, that's their goal. So, But I don't know. Not It's not like crazy nerf. It'll, it'll just stay at 80 the whole game, so... Yeah, definitely hit there for sure. It looks like he apparently, apparently he's performing too well in solo queues in high high skill brackets. Yeah, so okay. there you go. All right, uh, Karma is getting uh, mana growth down by forty. Mana regeneration mid for regeneration uh, growth is down or is up actually by uh, 0.3. So it was 0.5. Now it's 0.8. Um, so you're getting a little bit less overall growth, but the um, for just mana, but the Mana regeneration is going up there. Passive Gathering Fire cooldown refund is actually going for five to four seconds, so getting a nerf on that every time you hit an ability. Um, and then Q Inner Flame, the mana cost was uh, 45 flat, and then now it is going to be scaling from 40 to 80. That's pretty pretty large, actually. I'd say uh, she yeah. uses quite a lot of mana, I think. Yes. Um, yes. So, yeah. That's going to increase her mana cost for sure. Um, at least she has the regeneration growth a little bit, but uh, definitely going to hurt her. Um, our mantra, uh, cooldown is going from 40 to 31 based on rank to 40 to 34, so nothing super crazy, but uh, three more seconds at the uh, max rank there. And then uh, R plus E, Defiance Bonus Shield, uh, is actually getting buffed here quite a bit, uh, early especially. Um, it was flat 25 to 70, 175 based on rank, and now it's a flat 50 to 170, so slightly less at max rank, but uh, doubled at rank low, number one, so pretty nice there. Yeah, it's, uh, I think there's RE shield buff is going to make her, uh, early support, on at maybe? least, uh, feeling pretty good. Okay. Nice. Yeah, but we'll just have to try it out. But yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me about uh, uh, Galio too, if you, if you play it in the bot. <laughs> yeah, I might try and support. Honestly, I might I might give it a shot. All right. Um, Pain <laughs> is uh, benefiting from it looks like fighter items that are more optimal on Ross. So let's see what they do. Mm -hmm. um, for his Q, they are go ahead and they're actually adding damage per hit one. So instead of plus five. It's going to be plus six. Hmm. Okay. Um, so his Q will do a little bit more per hit. Um, oh, that's percent, by the way, actually, as well. Of target plus six health. plus. Oh, yeah, yeah, percent. Uh, so that's actually potentially big. And it's um, per hit as well, so it's twice. So you're yep. getting extra 2%, so I guess, total. Do, definitely do quite a bit of damage. Um, yeah, okay. And the animation now locks Kane out of using item actives. Um, so there might be some, like, interactions there. That could be important. Oh yeah, I think what was happening is uh, I don't know if it was just um, the uh, lethality Hydra item uh, yeah. that they were using, but I, I heard you could press Q and use your Hydra while the Q animation's going. Yeah. And you could uh, like just have no animation for your Hydra as all, well, so it just cancels mm -hmm. that whole animation. Okay. So, so that's yeah. probably that's probably what doing specifically there. what that's for. Yep. Um, and then his Umbral Trespass, that's his alt, of course. Um, yes. He's just going to get a uh, it's a pretty sizable nerf it's 150 percent bonus ad it used to be 175 percent in terms of the damage so okay. um and it is only affecting the assassin cane it looks okay. like it does not affect the dark in form damage so there you go that's good yeah i think it was dealing quite a little too much damage for my liking for sure yeah, yeah. So that's fair all right cool uh, up next, we got Orn. Uh, e cooldown is decreased. Nice, so you can charge a little bit quicker, especially early on. It looks like so. The old cooldown was 16 at level one. Now it's 14, and obviously it, they both scale to level 12. Um, so it's going to be the same once you max it. But I believe you max this last anyway. So um, this is going to be really nice, especially level one, which is going to be yeah. nice. Just extra two yeah, seconds yeah. Low, slower or shorter, I guess. Cool. Got Rexai, who had recently like a mini rework. Kind yeah. Of. Um. And I heard it. It basically super buggy. Like made it. Yeah. Not not that it was like a bad like conceptual rework, but it was just so buggy that like it was almost unplayable. <laughs> yeah. Um. So a lot of what you're gonna see here, it looks like bug fixes. So, um, the burrow W attack should now damage and knock up primary target when right clicking, even with enhanced range via milio or rapid fire. Um, huh. 
I didn't know he even did that, actually. Yeah, I didn't either. Um, food for thought. Yeah, the more you know. And then Void Rush. <laughs> um, the R can be queued from outside the cast range, um, which will then have Rek'Sai walk forward to cast the spell. Then it fixed a bug where Rek'Sai uh, was stunned on the very next frame after casting R. The R would fail. So um, I guess the R was just a little buggy. He was, or she was able to get stunned. <laughs> and um, I guess if you weren't in range, like there's a lot of ultimates where you can kind of like spam it and, and, you know, until you get into range, but I guess it wasn't one of them. So they're kind of oh, nice. fixing that up too. Okay, yeah. nice. Hopefully this helps, uh, finishes up all the rec side bugs and she can start Hopefully. getting some win rate. I heard she was somewhere like 30 or 40%. I think it depended on... Um, certain elos or like different rank brackets but yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> it's pretty bad apparently so all right passive uh for Cinna is going to be nerfed again no i hate this they do this so often all right here we go uh passive absolution mist wraith spawn rate on minion kill it's going from 8.333 percent to uh, 2.8 percent so that is getting absolutely gutted um they don't like her being an ADC, so you definitely don't want to hit minions pretty much at all now. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, they're just completely getting it. That's the worst, honestly. I hate that. But All right, well, I guess she's just a support now. Um, <laughs> Until they change their mind again. Yeah, pretty much. The last, like, what, 15th time or something like that? <laughs> yep. uh, this is the worst. All right, well, that is going to be sucking, but oh well. It is what it is. <clears throat> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Shen is our good guy. I feel like I haven't seen Shen's in forever, so yeah. um, let's see what they're doing. I saw His one or two passive. Recently. That's about it. Key barrier. Um, cooldown refund it is. I mean, it's it's okay. So, yeah, I'm glad they had that clear. It's a buff from levels 2 to 17 and most pronounced levels 8 to 16. So basically the overall, like the start and the finish point of the cooldown refund on his key barrier is the same. Like it's still 4 seconds at the start, 7.5 at the end, but it scales every level now instead of like every couple. So huh. okay. it is going to be a buff um, just because it it's power will increase every level. So Yeah, it's kind of um, weird, but okay, cool. Yeah. It's, weird. it's weird that it didn't do that before, but it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Definitely. That'll be fun. Okay. Um. <clears throat> all right. So Scion, we got Q decimating smash. Minimum damage. Um. Looks like flat is unchanged, but the percentage of total AD that it scales with, um, was is down by five percent early, and then is up by five percent late. So a little bit less, a little bit weaker early, and then a little bit stronger late. And then of course this means the maximum damage is uh down by 15% early and up by 15% late as well. So pretty much just mirroring there a little bit, um, the maximum damage scaling as well. All right, and then um, W Soul Furnace Shield, uh, the flat damage is down. Um, at rank one, it's the same, but every rank after it goes down, and then final rank, it's down by 40 of the, ma the flat shield, and then the uh, scaling percent of the maximum health that it scales with. Uh, it is the unchanged at level 1 once again, but at the level uh, 5 of the ability, you get 4% more maximum health scaling on that shield as well. So stronger late game, weaker early. Well, same early pretty much, you know, but yeah. Slightly, slightly weaker early on the Q though, but yes. All right. Better scaling, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I heard this was coming. Um, <laughs> so here we go. We'll see. Uh, the rumor was it was going to just uh, nuke him out of orbit so that he couldn't be picked, uh, especially in pro play. But let's see if we feel like the goal was achieved. Um, <laughs> so Q, his abilities are so great. Super Scorcher Breath uh, Q. So the execute threshold used to be uh, 2%, and it was. Uh, 2% plus 0.025% per stack he received. And so now 6.5%. Um, and let's see, this started at 7.6% at 225 stacks. So... It's like down by 1% uh, total, yeah, basically. It's like down it's like it overall. doesn't scale anymore, maybe? Yeah, I think it 
I think it's just like a one percent execute threshold nerf overall. Yeah. Um, Capping it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it's cap, so he doesn't like infinitely. Okay. And then smolder only checks to execute unit after smolder damage, meaning it will no longer execute off of allies damage. Um, okay. So he can't That's... just like super steal kills anymore. Yes. Quite yeah. yeah so <laughs> Basically, he was just putting the debuff on everybody and then letting his team kill them, and it was it was kind of OP. Yeah. Um, the W, a chew, um, the size of the hitbox on the, uh, I don't even know what you would call it, the giant ball he throws out, um, <laughs> is reduced by a bit. And then okay. uh, the movement speed on Flap, Flap, Flap is down by 25%. So wow. I think... I think the biggest change, honestly, I mean, they all are kind of pretty good nerfs, but I think the fact that his allies won't be able to proc the execute is pretty significant. And the fact that it caps um, where that threshold is, is, uh, I feel like, pretty big as well. So It's definitely meaningful for sure. I actually think the W might be slightly more um, impactful because uh, this thing was super huge. It would like hit you no matter, yeah. even if you're like slightly out of the visual range, I think. So. Yeah. It and might matter more, but we'll see. It definitely like, is a big hit, for sure. That was a big tool to get, I think, stacks, stacks as well. Yeah. That's so what I was the hearing. fact that it might be harder to hit, like, he'll, yeah, I think overall it'll be a pretty good nerf. So we'll see if it's enough. Yeah, definitely. And the movement speed definitely hurts him as well. Um, yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, Trendomir, base stats. So the attack speed growth going up by from 2.9% is what it used to be, and now it's 3.4%. So that's every level as well. So it's pretty pretty nice. Um, of course, he lost power with lethal tempo, and that, that did get pretty pretty nerfed last patch, I believe. So um, Or two patches ago, rather. But uh, yeah, looks like he's getting some of that back kind of in his base stats there. So cool. That's good. No, maybe we can uh, use that Trendomir skin. Victorious skin, yeah. <laughs> test it out. Uh, Volley Bear is um, looking like a nerf on his Q. So bonus movement speed is going to be down pretty much every rank except rank one. Okay. Um, it's going from 12 to 32 to 12 to 28%. Um, and then the cooldown on Stormbringer is also nerfed early um so it's gonna go up by 10 seconds then up by five seconds um which i think is it's most useful early when you're tower diving so yeah um, pretty to much add 10 seconds i think it, it'll hurt a little bit i don't know if it's like the biggest deal but because i don't know if you were using it like off cooldown yeah but... no you weren't it's not the end of the world but it's definitely yeah. definitely hurts some bit yeah but uh yeah i don't think it's like too big of a deal for, for a yeah bit. definitely all right, uh, moving on to items. That's done with champions. So, crit marksman buffs. Uh, crit marksmen feel pretty sad right now as a whole, um, so they're powering up the subclass a little bit. Um, so, all right, Infinity Edge. Uh, critical strike damage on this one's going from 40% to 50%, so now you're doing 250% total um, AD, or whatever, on hit, before, obviously, uh, armor and such. So, there you go. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I like this. <laughs> Yeah, we've got um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Navori is is getting five damage, um, and looks like oh, cost of the recipe is unchanged. But what did they actually add in? Looks like BF so sword for pickaxe. Build... Yeah, it's gonna build out a BF sword instead of the pickaxe. Um, but what you spend at the end of the day is the same, and you get five more attack damage. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, All right, take it. Yeah, definitely nice. I think it's actually one of the best items as well. So um, yeah, yeah, it's getting yeah, I don't basically think it was like buffed a... here, which is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it was in like a bad spot at all. Yeah, and then uh, Lord Dom's regards, Dominic's regards, getting uh, five percent more armor pin, and of course Mortal Reminders mirroring that as well. So cool, good stuff. I, I like uh, getting the armor pin back, especially after they hit Lord Dom's with that uh, less scaling, depending on the enemy's more max health yeah. than you. So yep. Yeah definitely good for that all right so we got uh doran's items up for junglers and supports it says um <clears throat> one at a time doran's blade doran's ring and doran's shield may no longer be purchased if world atlas or runic compass is already in the player's inventory this also applies to the moss stomper gust Stomp gust walker and scorch claws starting jungle items growing your jungle pet, pet all the way and upgrading your support item to its final form removes this restriction okay so once it's fully upgraded then you could buy a door inside them but that's going to be pretty late in the game and you're probably right. not going to want to do that so yeah. just don't don't buy it if you're supporting and jungle 
Yeah, I think I think a couple supports like there were a few niche cases where they were yeah. buying the Atlas and Adorn's item for like early game power. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you just won't be able to abuse that anymore. All right, cool. Uh, I got a support section. You you can take this away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So early income for support. Supports gained a lot of power this season. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, <laughs> specifically from their ability to hit two item power spike, which is yeah, I have to say that is pretty op um <laughs> and so yeah. they are going to lower the amount of upfront gold that comes from the support item while still allowing the wards and quest completion to come at the same time and then they're specifically hitting the pvp ranged pvp goal gold that you get um okay. so let's see exactly what they're doing so world alice gold per minion kill is down by five uh gold on damage to champions if you're melee is down uh, 30 to 22 and then gold uh, damage to champions on ranged is down by 8 28 to 20 um, so overall gold required for upgrade is down by 100 um, so basically okay. they're, they're gonna not make it so it doesn't transform and you get access to your rewards like you'll still get that around the same time but you won't just be able to like super farm gold um, especially if you're like a range support. Okay. Um, and then I think it's mirroring similar nerfs in the gold for the runic compass. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yep, there's similar gold nerfs across the board. And then the, they just nerfed Solstice Slug. It looks like. <laughs> there's no only upgrade? All right, well, Solstice Slug catching, uh, catching strays here. Uh, the bonus <laughs> movement speed. I, I didn't even think it was even that OP, to be honest, but okay. Bonus <laughs> movement speed is down uh five percent and it only lasts for 2.5 seconds instead of three um right. i didn't think it was that op but it'll be a little bit less of a uh good item now i guess but cool i yeah. mean yeah it's <laughs> kind of sad it will it was op because you used to be able to hit the upgraded quest item at about the same time you got your first like completed item and if you uh yeah if you're like a damage dealer that that was pretty op yeah, and you don't have to upgrade them with gold anymore, right? So now exactly. you, you would just get yeah. like that item like almost faster than laners, almost. If yeah, if there were there were there were some games like where I was doing really well. Well, where I would get like Leandries at the same time I got like Realm Spike. And yeah, this is like what what are you supposed to do? That's if crazy. You're, like into that, it was it was yeah. Broke. All right, all right, cool. So uh, epic items are getting kind of a pass as well with uh, a few goals in mind, I guess. Um, so they're doing a bunch of different stuff. Basically, I, from what I was understanding that Freak was saying, they're kind of nerfing a bunch of epic items because they were kind of like a pretty big spike a little bit. So um, that's kind of what I was understanding. So let's see. Um, Bomby Sander, Immolation Damage, um, the flat is going up by one, but the uh, bonus health scaling or, or for the damage um, is now halved as much so it was one percent bonus health now it's half a percent of bonus health and then uh should we back and forth this real quick yeah we can why not right. it's a bunch of items so pretty simple uh let's see caulfield's warhammer uh down five damage overall yep. and phoenix codex codex rather uh down by 10 ability power uh, Glacial Buckler is just going to cost more, so 50 gold increase on that. Yep, um, and then that's about it. Uh, Haunting Guys is down by five ability power as well. Okay, damage reduction. Heartbound Axe is down five damage, um, and the gold is down two, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Gold is down 50 gold. 50, okay. All right, and then uh, Hextech Alternator down by five ability power as well. That's a big one. Um, Karachi's shard or Karachi's shard, however you say that, is down <laughs> by five on the only on the energized like part of the like the proc, but it's down by yeah. actually ten bonus damage there. Yeah, that, I think that's a pretty decent sized one. I think these I two think are probably the too. biggest hits. Yeah, um, so far those are the two that stand out. Yeah, and then uh, serrated dirk is also down by five as well. Big big item there for sure. Yeah, that used to be. I mean, I feel like it's still OP, but that's a good. Yeah, thing, I feel like definitely. Um. Vector's cow. Um, health, oh, let's see, health overall down by 50. And then it is giving 100% base health regen. It got rid of a unique passive, which gave 150 base regen uh, when taking damage from champions. I think it's actually probably, 
potentially nicer yes because now you just regen it because you can do it in passive all the yeah. time yeah. yeah yeah so i think i think it's actually going to be nicer on that one yeah i would say for sure yeah all right nice uh steel sigil just the item recipe getting changed a little bit here it looks like cloth armor long sword is what it used to be now it's cloth armor plus plus cloth armor plus long sword nice <laughs> uh brutalizer just loses three lethality so it'll be five instead of eight all right, and then uh, Tidalair is getting a 50 gold more uh, price there. Yep, and, and Verdant Barrier is 100 gold cheaper, so it's only 1,700 gold. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's that's same stats, same nice. everything, just cheaper. So Just about, nice. yeah. I mean, yeah, literally. Uh, cool. All right, uh, <clears throat> system. So we got Void Grubs here getting changed a little bit here. So Void Grub Death Buff. Um, on death, remaining Void Grubs receive a 25% max health and missing health shield that decays over 10 seconds. On death, uh, it now is remaining Void Grubs receive a 30% maximum and missing health heal that d decays over 10 seconds. So same decay time, but you don't get that shield as well, but you get 5% more max health. So it's actually going to be smaller, basically. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, this was just of each, I guess, right? I think... Or no, 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 no. No, no, I'm misreading that. I think this was 25% uh, split into both of these, if I'm guessing that right, and then this is 30%. just total. So it's a little bit yeah. more, but it's only he health, so no shield yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any excess healing temporarily increases their max health. Okay. And then Void Grub buff VFX will now stay throughout the entire duration of the buff. Okay. Cool. Okay. And then we got Iron Balance changes. Pretty short there, but uh, yeah, nice. Janna getting hit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, OP on uh, Aram apparently. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Zig's also getting hit the execute. That's pretty big. Anyways, um, <laughs> Aram Clash is this weekend, I believe, as of this recording. Uh, registration just began yesterday as of the recording, but yeah, there you go. If you're interested in that, definitely check that out. And then uh, replays, we still see, what is this? Starting with this patch, we'll be making some updates to the replay system. While well, I won't notice any changes on your end, this will help us make improvements behind the scenes. This update will remove any saved replays created during this patch earlier than usual, but as, you, as soon as the update goes through, the replay system will return to saving and restoring replays for around 14 days as normal. All right, interesting. So on April 2nd, this is when... Uh, this is going to be happening for North America, but there you go. All right, uh, Mythic Shop Rotation. We got a lot of interesting information here, so definitely check it. Um, we're not going to go through all of it, but we have the Now Available section, uh, what's going to be leaving, and then um, we have Future Rotations actually tells you what's going to come up, so that's actually really nice. I don't know if they had that before. I don't think they did. I don't remember that. But yeah, it's pretty cool, and I've never heard of this skin, so that might be a new skin, or, or I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. You've got some pretty cool, cool skins there, rather, uh, and then got some dates, pretty much more or less, um, of when they're going to be releasing. So, uh, yes. yeah, got the bug fixes and quality of life changes. Uh, definitely take a look at those. Um, but yeah, other than that, we got some uh, Crystallis and Domitus Mechazics. Some high noon skins are coming back. That's cool. Rel. Oh, okay. High noon Evelyn. High noon Kragas. Okay. Yeah. Nice, the grass looks good. I mean, they all look really cool, actually. Yone, uh oh. Peacemaker. Oh, no. oh they got a prestige oh, version no. of it, kind of. <laughs> oh, prestige. Uh, hiding that one, too. Yeah, there you go. That's a prestige. Okay, cool. Interesting. Kind of looks like a Disney costume or something, almost. Yeah, almost, almost, yeah. But, yeah, all right, looks pretty good. Um, I guess in game, obviously, you can see some of the chromas. Kind of like look at the skins there a bit as well. So they look pretty good, actually. I like There's a lot of cool skins coming out. So there you go. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty sure well, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, any final thoughts, Drew? Anything nope. that jumped out I'll, at you? Um, I'm going to definitely test out Galio support, see if, uh, see right. if that feels viable. I'll definitely. report back. <laughs> all right, cool. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you later. Peace.